Good night, everybody. <laughs> it is 8.02 right now. Luna is seven months and one day old. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which means tonight she's going to sleep in her room for the first time, like throughout the night. But she's about to eat. We're about to get her some food and look at this. It's Michael. We're gonna feed her some carrots. This is actually the one like vegetable that she somewhat likes. So I'm excited to see her reaction to it again. Hopefully it's good. We have been in the food journey of trying things and she sometimes likes them, sometimes she doesn't. You want this? Yummy. It's your carrots. You love carrots. Broccoli has ruined food for her. <laughs> She had broccoli and now she's like so hesitant to try stuff. Yummy! You love it? She loves it. So yeah, that's what we're doing tonight. We're just kind of vlogging our experience first night in the other room. So it's gonna be really sad. She won't be in like the crib right next to our bed. She'll be in the crib in her room. I'm not ready for it. Yeah, I'm not either. I'm, it's gonna be such a hard night. Stop! You know what's gonna be sad. Well, no, I'm saying like oh, getting up because, in the middle of the yeah. night. That's Ye one reason why I have prolonged it because I have to wake up with her several times throughout the night because she wakes up quite a bit still and Steven does not wake up. I'm a heavy sleeper. I really am. But I try sometimes I do get up. I don't, I don't know what it is, but sometimes I get up, but I'm going to try really, really hard tonight. She should be going to bed pretty soon. She's usually out at like 8.30. She'll wake up around midnight, and then she'll go back to sleep and wake up a couple times throughout the night. But now, it'll be in the other room. So I hope she sleeps good, and I think she will. I think she will sleep good. So I got a bottle going in the bottle warmer. Do you want out of there? Let's go get you changed. Ready for bed. <laughs> Are you the happiest baby in the world? Yes. Hey, yes. I love this baby so much. <laughs> it's actually, it's really bad how much I love her. Do you see that? Do you see that? At bedtime, even whenever we're in our room, we always read her a bedtime story. I wish they made a recliner, and maybe they do, where two people can sit in it. Yeah. Like, I wish you could Like an oversized one so she could, like, be in the middle of us. Yeah, and we could both sit here and yeah. read. What book are we reading tonight? Tonight we are reading Baby Animals. Oh, I love this one. Touch and Feel. Playful puppies love to run and jump from place to place. They wag their little tails and try to lick your face. Feel it. Wow. <laughs> you love that book? Goslings waiting for their mom to take them to the lake. They swim and splash around, then get out to have a shake. The tiger cub has lots of stripes. They're orange, white, and black. After playing all day long, he needs a tiger snack. So she likes that one. Though. She's smiling the entire time. You love what? it? She's like, I know some what's food. next. I know what's next. She knows what's up. Yeah, she does. All right, we're going to turn off the lights. We're gonna go to bed. For real? Uh oh, Captain. <laughs> Mia, no. Get out of here. You can't spend the night in here. Oh, Michael, man, it's going. Michael, get out of here, man. Come Michael's on, Michael's harder to get out. Yes. Okay. I'm. I'm coming back for her. While Madeline gets her to sleep, I am gonna tackle the horrid mess in here, and then it's about to be our bedtime. got her to sleep. I've seen her kind of like play with that passy that's next to her head, but she, oh, she's still <laughs> kind of wiggling, but hopefully she'll just keep putting herself to sleep. She has rolled over on her side. Good. Which means she should be asleep now until probably about like midnight. Midnight, yeah. Um, that took her a while. Yeah, longer than normal for some reason. I'm not sure. And it, 
I'm confused. I would have thought that it would have been easier because she does take her naps in there during the day, yeah. like her two hour nap. So I, was I even hoping... thought about that while I was out there. I was like, I think we forgot to mention that she has slept in there before. She sleeps mm -hmm. in there for her naps. So it's not like completely a new environment, but I guess like the whole like routine being in there yeah. and being different than in our room. Yeah. Because what she normally does is we'll be watching our shows. We'll set up like some pillows in front of the TV so, so she, she can't, can't watch it. Yeah. So she can't can't like see the light and she'll lay in between us and kind of put herself to sleep yeah she'll just like kind of like switch from side to side and then eventually she'll just go to sleep and yeah. before we go to sleep after we're done watching our shows and everything we transfer her over to this little crib that we have in here i just really thought it would be a lot easier i, I did too yeah i really wasn't expecting for her to be it took fighting like sleep hour. for 40 minutes yeah yeah which is not like her. She normally uh -uh. goes to sleep pretty quickly. I don't yeah. know. Anyway, she's asleep. Hopefully she stays asleep for a while. We will update you guys. We're going to go watch our shows, hang out. We can talk loud. We can party, man. We yeah. can have the cats in here, so that'll be fun. Yeah. I still miss her, though. I miss her, too. But she's right there. No, she's not. Yeah, she is. She's right there. I can see her. Luna is moving. It's 9.42. I'm actually going to feed her. She's looking into the camera. I am delivering the bottle. There he is feeding her. So Steven just texted me, I love her. Baby girl, we love you so, so much. And I just wish you could sleep in our room forever and ever and ever. <laughs> You go ahead and I'll bring it in there. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. It is 12.30 right now. Um, if you can't tell, I was asleep for about an hour. But I am currently waiting on the bottle to be made. We will change the whole like bottle situation or the bottle warmer situation once she starts sleeping in there. Like you know more often or like has an actual schedule i guess of it being in there but right now i didn't want to put it in there and then like me possibly bring her in here it kind of depends on how she does tonight i'm gonna try my hardest not to bring her in here all right bottle is done i'm gonna bring it to her we'll get her back to sleep sorry you're not able to see me it's dark get her back to sleep and we'll go back to sleep hmm. Hello again. So it is currently at 1235 in the morning. Steven is feeding Luna right now and I am getting her Alette sock together. We forgot to put it on her whenever we put her to bed and we are also going to bring her in here for a second to change her eventually like the whole bottle warmer situation i will be moving her diapers and wipes into her room but we've just been changing her every single time in our bedroom um, like throughout the day and everything too but we will be moving it to her nursery <gasps> mia has decided to join our crew. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. I love you, babies. She's like, honestly, like so beautiful. She is. She's so beautiful. Good night, baby. For the second time. 12.45. She's fed. She's changed. And getting knocked back to sleep. And I would say her next time she's going to wake up is about 5 a.m. And that's my shift. Normally I'm not awake right now. Steven will do this last feeding himself. And I normally change her around like 3 or 4 in the morning whenever I wake up. But we went ahead and just got it all done. So maybe this... so much but she should be good no, now. No, is she really? She was, but it should be good now. I think she's just trying to... It's because I kissed her on her head. Yeah, I guess, but on camera. I think she's just trying to move this arm out of the way. Do I need to go in there? No, it. she's good. <laughs> Do her tail. Her claws are super sharp. <laughs> <gasps> 
I heard. What was that noise? Was that her claws on you? Yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'll see you guys probably around, I'm gonna guess 5, 5.30. We'll see, maybe 4. I just, I don't know how she is in her room. But when she's in here, I would say she won't wake up till about 5, 5.30. Now that it's like 1 o'clock. I guess we'll find out. Alright, I'm going back to sleep. Good night, guys. So, it's 2 a.m. I woke up because she started crying. Got her back to sleep. I don't know, she's just so wiggly. I feel so bad for her. Do you guys have any tips on how to get through a sleep regression? Like, part of me just doesn't want to even try right now during her sleep regression, but I also know, like, it's time. Like, I mean, like, try moving her to her room. She hasn't moved. I think she's doing okay. I'm gonna try to go back to sleep. It's 2.15. She keeps waking up crying. Let's hope she sleeps for at least a couple hours. 2.20. I tried turning her the other way and I laid her on her back this time. She likes to immediately go to her belly. So let's see if this helps her stay asleep. It is 3.33. I was just in there for, honestly, I don't remember how long. I don't know what to do. I might bring her in here because I'm not going to get any sleep if I don't. And maybe like this was like a warm up. Like she was asleep in my arms, like out, crashed in the moment I transferred her. Sorry, Steven. I think I'm going to bring her in here. But at least she slept from, she probably fell asleep around 8.45, almost 9. Till 3.30. Like we might just have to do that where we like train her to stay in there throughout the night. Because it's a new place, I don't know. She's been in there a long time. It's kind of letting her wiggle right now. She's awake. Dang it. Baby girl, I'm so sorry. I'm bringing her in here. Steven, she's sleeping in her crib tonight, her crib in our room tonight. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is starting to get bright outside. It's currently 6.53 a.m. Yeah, Luna slept so good once I brought her in here. Um, we're just now waking up for the first time um, and I am getting a bottle ready for her for her morning bottle and she'll most likely go back to sleep after she eats. I have her in between us right now just laying down because I obviously have to walk around and stuff and get the bottle. Oh she slept so good. I hate that. I mean I love that. She, she didn't do good in her room. I'll probably just have to like slowly transition her so like she was in there for however many hours that was eight to three and then like slowly add more once she gets comfortable so she almost finished her entire bottle she was almost asleep while oh, what are you doing <laughs> while drinking it but i needed to change her diaper and so she woke up and now we're hanging out <laughs> did you wake up Say hello. This is my favorite time in the morning. She just is so snuggly. Just loves hanging out with me. 7.15. Baby girl is awake. <laughs> Aren't you? Did you sleep good once you came in here? Whoa. Whoa. She's so funny. Don't they say that like babies start feeling like themselves like around eight months old so maybe that could be something it like she still feels like she's connected to me i don't know are you sleepy still <laughs> you're so funny i love you okay let's go back to sleep please <laughs> i don't think that's gonna happen it's 8 40 Steven is up and helping. He's gonna change noon. Yep. Alright, babies. Alright, love you. What did you just say, babe? 
I said I'm hungry. <laughs> Hi, hungry. I'm Steven. I'm really hungry. Like Hi, really hungry. <laughs> I'm Steven. Not even, you're so lame. You want to go get donuts or something? Or like Whataburger or McDonald's? No. And I see Luna. Peace, <laughs> man. Yeah. I just have so much love for this little girl. Me too. All right, guys. Well, you should have woken me up. Well, it was it wasn't that like I needed help. She just would keep waking up, and so. <gasps> Sorry, my breath probably smells rancid. <laughs> so I think what we're going to do. I already talked to Stephen. Is just slowly acclimate her to her room, like longer periods at a time. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. She said no, no. And I didn't expect it to go like amazing the first night, obviously. Mm -hmm. But she kept waking up every like 15, 20 minutes. Um, so I just I was like, I'm not gonna keep getting up and keep putting her back down. The moment I brought her in our room, I'm not kidding you, she slept for four hours straight. Four hours straight. She slept. I don't know if it's because she can feel the presence that she's in the same room as us, or... I have no idea. Um, I almost, like, want to get sleep on an air mattress in her room one night. Yeah, and see if that helps. Yeah, and then just, like, slowly <laughs> wean ourselves out of there. <laughs> yeah, okay, guys. Let's go get an air mattress tonight. Let's do that tonight. <laughs> I think it'll be fun. Well, let us know if y'all have any tips or tricks. We might be trying the air mattress thing. <laughs> yeah, because I have seen people get, like, a little mattress and one of the parents sleep in there, but... I don't like to sleep alone. I know. That's why I don't want to put her in her room. But Madeline, we now have... now she has to sleep alone. Yeah, it's so difficult. She has to sleep alone in a dark room all by herself across the house. That's so sad. It's like, sad. yeah, Dad. Look, listen to Mom. Okay, we're going to get this girl to eat, and then we're going to go get us some food and then get an air mattress and stuff. So. Do you want some oatmeal, too? <sighs> Well, we'll give you your milk and then give you some oatmeal. Oh, my god. Do gosh. you want a vlog? Oh, hey guys, um, I slept all, not for a long time last night. <laughs> My name's Luna. All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs>